I don't want to play enough to gauge you for nobody. Smoking mirrors, motherfuckers. Pay for all the dumb shit. Like my buddy said, I sat here earlier. He said, pretty sure Kedron wore your shirt jacket, didn't he? Sure did. Just out of the blue. Because he seen that shit on here. I was like, I've heard that for a week straight. I don't give a fuck if it's mine or not. Sell that motherfucker, make you some money. What the fuck is the issue with that? All I said was, I remember mine being stolen. If it's mine, sell it, because Penny and Wibby would make you, would want it to be like that, you know? What the fuck? I mean, come on. Wake up, people. But we want to sit here and have a pissing contest. While I'm standing up, while y'all motherfuckers are sitting down, you know, during this pissing contest, because I'm, I'm just stunned by some of it. When I read it and shit, I'm like, this is how you come at somebody? You don't want me to start speaking to this shit, I know. But I, we'll save that for a rainy day, won't we? Like some of the fans that's watching right now, that's personally talked to me, you know what's up. I told you. You know what the fuck it's about. That movie's a lie, man. You go watch the first movie. That's the fucking truth. I don't care. I just don't care. I know the first place they pulled in here when they found the wall no one of the whites was my house. They came straight to my house. Julian Nixberg did. And fucking uh, this dude named Dom, Katie During. As you watch the movie, you see these names. Okay. Katie Dury only come one time. The first thing he asked me, how much would it cost for you to do a porn? I said, listen here, you Nickelodeon sheep motherfucker. I don't fucking roll like that. You understand? I said, how about this? You see your producer over there, that bad bitch? Exactly what I said. I said, how about I fuck her live right now for you? Oh, she's married. No shit. That's the point. There's your porn for you. That's an insult. Just like asking her to do that to me. Same difference. You fucking idiot. Oh boy, that pissed me off, you know? I was like, porn? Dude, you Nickelodeon chic. I, I can see you a, me, a million miles away. I can see right through that shit. He's sitting there asking me, why don't I want to date women from around here? My baby mama just walks off the porch, you know? Old oh, dirty verse, little feller, all that, you know what I mean? Look at that. You know how I can take that and make copyright infringement on shit like that? I don't have time for uh, internet games. Like I said, let's not have pissing contests, guys. Because y'all setting the fuck down. If we're having a pissing contest, you better set the fuck down. While I'm standing up, just like I said. Because I can show screenshots. Fucking word. Fake deaths, I mean, fucking stabbing wounds uh, with ketchup on blades and everything. I mean, what the who does and shit like this? Somebody on drugs because their mind's altered. Wake the fuck up, people. Sir, I got in front of a camera, did I not? On a YouTube and said, look, I have a drug problem. I'm going to step back and fix my whole fucking life. I don't have time to fucking argue about it because I'm dying every day on this shit. So that's what I did with my life. I stepped back. I was addicted to one of the deadliest drugs in the world. Stepped right back and beat its fucking ass because it takes a strong minded motherfucker that's been places that others ain't to beat it. I think it's 2% that recover from crystal methamphetamines, okay? I like 10% recover from opiates. See what I'm saying? Them statistics. Uh, Donald, of course. You want to fucking read it? You want to hear it from my family? Fucking act like he's dying? Didn't you hear him? Uh, de I'm dead two months ago, and then alive three days later. About to scam motherfuckers for a funeral and shit. I ain't about that, sorry. I'll point you right out on your bullshit. They might not see it, but I do. Oh, I'm going to talk right back. If mm, you want to throw mm. the shit out there, let's throw the real truth out there, brother. You want me to show the pictures of the blade? It says 
He got it's all lady calls, says he gets stabbed. No, you didn't know about this because he only sent it to the family. Attention seeking, buddy. The biggest attention seeker of our whole family, I promise you. Fifteen seconds on the wild and wonderful wife, and God damn it, he, he, he's just boom, he's everything. Where's it? It could be my jacket, like I said, it could be, because Brandon will tell you. I took Derek's, you know what I mean? But the last person I seen wear mine was Kedron. I will fucking tell anybody that to their face. While you inboxing me and making sure, make sure you tell them it's yours. Man, you'll fuck it all up. I don't know for sure. That's what I'm trying to point out there. Now. And he freaks out on me over it. Because I speak the truth. I'm sorry, I really don't know if that's mine, man. Me and Brandon had the same exact jacket that when I'm starting that goddamn Trans Am right there. My buddy looked dead at me and said, the last person I ever seen where that was Kedron before he died. Thank you. I said, contact Brandon. Has anybody contacted Brandon over it? He said, Brandon sold his for Xanaxis to, I said, whoa. Would you do that live for me? He said, no, nope, I ain't getting on that dumb shit. He said, but Brandon sold his for Xanax. It's too fucking wet. Bam, son. He said, why would you sell? You know what I mean? Brandon traded it a wimpy. It could have very well been mine. You know what I mean? That's why I said that. Mine was stolen, man. But the last person I ever seen wearing my jacket was my friend that got killed. Get off of drugs. Motherfucker, you need to wake up. Just getting schemed, son. Ask my... Why well, ain't nobody asked Brandon yet? Because you fucking know. I ain't got time for you, dude. You know? You want me to tell the truth about the, all the rest of the shit? You don't. I promise you don't. Arena. Arena. Goddamn pedigree. You get the hint? You feel me knocking? Let me the fuck in. Pretty sure the only drug I fuck with right here. Boy, I got a piss in a cup. Randomly, motherfucker. No, what you're talking about for you ever say I'm on anything. I can look at the world. I looked at the world and said what I was on. And I'm pretty sure everybody would tell you that. The world on a YouTube. Look, I have a drug problem. I need to go get help. And I'm pretty sure I did. Exactly, Shelly. Why wouldn't I want that? If I thought for sure that was it, why wouldn't I want my dead sister's fucking coat back? Common sense. Common sense. Uh, uh, because I don't really think it's it. You know what I mean? That's all I said. You can mail it to me. I'll make it official. I'll, I'll sign it, then piss on it, and send it back to you. That's official as fuck, huh? Got dirty all over it then, huh? I mean, I was actually in the fucking movie, guys. Both of them. Six years old in the Wild One, uh, Dancing Outlaw. You know, they came here first. West Virginia, for a reason. The strong survives. The weak and weary crawl and die or run away. You know? That's right. No, no, no. She didn't buy both of them. Brandon bought his own. Trust me, ask Brandon, why ain't nobody ask my cousin Brandon? Me and him fucking despise each other. Why would he lie for me? That's dumb. I'm tired of talking about a fucking jacket. That's the whole concept of this. Like I said on this one post, it's not made about a jacket. This ain't about my cousin or nothing, man. And he attacks me. He took exactly what I said wrong because he let fans get under these fucking creaky crawlers that come out of the woodwork get under his skin. The same thing he preached to me. Don't let him get under his skin now, because Don't let him get under his skin now. But who the fuck skin they under right now? Not mine. That's for damn sure. I don't. I, I care less, Shelly. Because I have stuff for my sister. You know. Thank Jennifer. That's right. That's how I feel about it. I'm tired of explaining... If I was fucking lying, I'm pretty sure I would be stuttering and fucking not knowing exactly. I, I've never not told the same thing.
I can fucking, I got the voice messages and everything. I got so sick and tired of hearing about this jacket. Yeah, sure, it's mine, whatever. Shut the fuck up about it. Sell it on, t if you need money that bad, dog, sell that motherfucker. And you make 30 some dollars an hour. Makes no sense. Have you ever seen me or one of my family members, even Jesco, say, I want two to five dollars for my fan base? For my birthday, but I won't receive nothing. Every one of us, I, I can have every one of my family members call me and my God damn, that's basically bumming somebody. Every one of them said it. Zeta's the oldest, the 80 year old, you know what I mean? She's the oldest. It's going good, actually. Laura, Lori, Lynn, thank you for asking, you know, and people come on here and tax someone's sobriety. Ain't nothing but shit that needs straight up, scraped off the bottom of my boot. That's all I got to say about that. Now, Katie, I can tag my cousin Katie in here and she will freak the fuck out on you over that. Same as I will. Or about our dad that can't talk. Now, that's the problem I really had right there. You're going to, Zeta is the oldest white. 80 years old. Mamie, I'm the oldest, meanest. How are you the oldest? Contradicted what you said right there. Johnny is older than you and Zeta. Tell the truth, guys. Come on. Here comes mom. Uh-oh. Who's the oldest white, mom? Zeta. Zeta. Oh, one of these then, jo right then Johnny Wayne, right around. Oh, Listen, that woman right there will tell you the truth. If I, if that's my sister's jacket, went on the back, that's a dollar. She ain't got time to, she, she can't send her nephew. Can you stand her, you love your nephew? Donald? No. What has he called you? Everything. He called, he called you, fake stab wounds, everything. Yeah, man. I'm lying, man. He's the one put it out there. Let's put it the fucking right back. It's all right. We'll put it right yeah. back on you. You reap what you sow. Thank you, mother. You reap what you fucking sow, and you're going to reap it, boy. You're on air with everybody that dogged this family. You're a part of that bullshit. The Beggins boy, all that. They sat there and talked about and Katie, just like me. No. My papa has rolled over and turned over, like my mom has said, and my and everybody not just them two I took my phone to their homes recording and giving information on who you support in there so fucking hard yeah my mama don't have you know what I mean she hates this dumb shit just because I told a girl off the other day about only fans right and she comes at me she said that's against community standards. I'm from Alabama, this and that. I said, well, you're probably married to your brother and your stripper. That's against God's standards. No, ain't it? Last time I checked. Read that Bible right, girl. Read it right. Prostitution is a sin, boy. I believe that's against God's community standards right there. And you're sitting there claiming all you freedom. To... I'm a per professional exotic dancer to... Correct term would be escort or go go dancer. Know what you're talking about. Professional stripper? I've never heard of that. My, I've, I've never seen a. There's only one in Bar Charlotte. This bitch was riding a mechanical bull, but she wasn't taking her clothes off. Her skill was that good, she didn't have to take her clothes off. Can you do that, Miss Alabama? She is swinging on a swing, standing up. Dancing. Thank you. No such thing as a Christian stripper, but that's abomination. That's cyber prostitution. That's the same fucking concept. And she called me a feminist. No, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm dead against that. I would never pay a woman a fucking dime. I've had bitches pay me. Boom. <laughs> please. Please. Motherfucker, please. Never would pay a fucking bitch 32 cents a dollar to see their whole thing. Their whole skit. I wouldn't pay my dollar to see their whole little OnlyFans deal. Who the fuck will, I mean, there's Pornhub. 
and there's a thing called strip chat that you can watch for free and type to them and do anything you want. I mean, this shit has been out since the fucking 90s. Oh yeah, I prostitute it, let me tell you. Right on Clark Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. See how they tried to flip this shit, guys. Weakest link, goodbye. That's all I gotta say to you. I see another really, really weak link in here that can't take he dish it out, but they can't take it. Ain't that right, boy? I hope we got there an opportunity. I said, any one of you motherfuckers want some of this? Come to the Cold Festival. June. Next month. Bring it on. Right there's my niece. Right there. My niece in Cleveland, Ohio. I never played semi-pro football, did I, Tiff? He was just my water girl. These people are out of their mind, Tiffany. Your other cousin is Fruit Looped on that shit Uncle Dirk used to be on. Bad. And I will fucking call it out. Because you cannot help nobody until you help yourself. You have to admit you have that problem. You can drag that horse through the water, but that motherfucker will not drink unless it wants to. Facts. Don't make me shoot straight real hard fucking facts. Uh, my family got in a car wreck viciously, uh, I'm pretty sure, the night before. That's what happened with that Welch thing, remember? Not only that, uh, they was hollering that, oh, it's filled up, this and that. When I watched that, I knew exactly why they didn't want Darky fighting. Because they wasn't a challenge there for me. What are you talking about paying me for what? Oh, bro, dude, I was talking about only fans. I wouldn't pay a bitch for a dime. I've had bitches pay me. And like that Google girl come out there. I can't answer your messages back. You damn right you said that shit. I'll show it to the world. I'll play through your voice messages. Let's make this money together. Out that grungy voice like fucking uh, Lane Staley and Kirk Cobain mix or something. Nope, let's not say we did. Because I'm not about that shit. I ain't about it. When I was filming, half my shit was GoPro footage. If you did not notice that. Four YouTube channels. And y'all attack one. Don't bother me. <laughs> Sling blades here. You know what's up, Tiff. Uncle Durkey don't fuck, fuck around. Uncle Durkey don't fuck around. You know what's up, girl. That's right, Ryan. They can't stand the truth. Yeah, it's a Snapple. That's a, you ain't heard of the new element snapples? You got air, uh, fucking wind, uh, the fire, air, what, and dude, there's some good ones. <laughs> Buddy, my body's a temple, okay? 36 years old, chiseled like a fucking Judy and Sally, son. I woke the fuck up, just like my one page says that nobody knows about. Wake up. Guys. It's right in front of you. You got to check, Corey, you got to check them out. They're good. They are really good, dude. They got them in blue. The blue is like element, I think. And then you got air. See how it says elements on it? You got air, wind, fire. You know what I mean? Shit like that. They taste really good, Lori. Lori, shoot. How, how you say it? You know what I mean? Am I okay? I'm fucking groovy, baby. I've been down at my friend's house, you know what I mean, and we just lost another friend if she didn't read my Facebook correctly. We have to dig another grave. But who's here to dig it? Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, boys. You see that? Point this yard, motherfuckers. Hear that? Mom, 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 mom. Only about the, if it, somebody was in this yard like that, that's one of my boys. I just lost one of my best friends, guys, that I knew my whole fucking life. One year younger than me. Went to school together. 
I, I got more than I can sh show you all of the flavors. I buy them all. You know, that's when I heard that last night, man. That's why you didn't see me live. I couldn't go live with that on my mind. It just build up, build up, build up, and it still does. That's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm beyond worried about anybody selling anything or anything. I'm worried. I have to dig a grave. I have to put another one of my great friends in that ground from a fucking deadly drug that people don't wake up from. They're going to be the same place. You got your anybody that's doing that, your foot's in the jail, and the other one's in the ground halfway already. Your granny's fine, honey. Your granny just walked through here just now and let them know. And Zed is the oldest of all this family up there in Cleveland with you. That's my niece in Cleveland right there. That's my, my, my pet baby girl right there, Tiffany Faye. Hence the name Faye, Bernadine Faye. That's Penny's daughter right there, okay? The one that bought me the jacket. Why don't you fucking just ask her about that jacket? Hmm. Pretty sure. Didn't me and Brandon have the same jacket, Tiff? Brandon bought his own. Asked him where he got it. Your mama went and bought me one. You was little. You probably don't remember. But you know Uncle Durfee's jacket. He would never sell something that belonged to your mama. I know that. I know you don't fuck with Big Granny. Listen, I know, I know how you call them. Always Big Granny and Little Granny because she lived closer. That's how you always did it. Uncle Durkee knows I didn't move up there for nothing, girl. People don't believe I lived in Cleveland. Peak the bill, motherfuckers. To the day I die. And they're going to, you know what I mean? Who, what, what, what's Minnesota doing? You go to Super Bowls and fall on your face. Pretty sure Jim Brown run the motherfuckers over, didn't he? For four years in a row. Kick returner. 27 touchdowns as a rookie. Kick returner. How many Vikings have done that? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> the best thing you ever had came from West Virginia. His name was Randy Moss, by the way. Oh, man, I can just keep going about that shit. You go straight and fall on your face. That's why Cleveland took your coach also, Stefanski. And now he's taking us to Super Bowls because he knows not to let the GM run his fucking shit. Oh, well, let's put Kirk Cousins in when Case Keenum just led us all the way, one game away from the Super Bowl, in rhythm with the team. While right in your face. Who does this shit like that? <laughs> Y'all's freaking out over this, man. Okay, it's prickly pear and peach white tea in this one. Prickly pear and peach white tea. I guess y'all Snapple drinkers. I like Snapple Apple. That's, of course, my favorite. And I can hold a couple. Uh, then you got fire. Fire is really good. You know what I mean? Thank you, man. How did West Virginia get these before you guys? Uh, damn, they done killed my motherfucking snapples. I'm going to kill them. <laughs> they have killed them, man. I just bought 50 Gatorades and 50 snapples. What the fuck? Oh, I know where. Never mind. I'm going to have to restock. I got tons of them. See? There's your regular. Your Snapple apple. And right now. I gave my buddy uh, the blue one a while ago. He must have took it home with him. You know what I mean? Or I'd show you it. They're fucking, every one is on point. Hell yes, my Snapple out there, buddy. I'm going to Snapple their fucking ass. You feel me? Snap, crackle, pop, motherfuckers. Got them one up there on, on the crack pipes. The fuck you smoking in that crack pipe? Like he says on fucking bad boys, too. Any about Super Bowls, you know why Jim Brown, Earl Campbell, and everybody left that bullshit? Because it was a merger. Who wanted to play playoffs in that? It's about the best team only. The Browns are about to run over everybody this year, motherfucker. We, the Browns are the best. We got the most loyal fans. Exactly, most loyal fans. Win or lose, we bleed Brown, baby. We don't jump on them bandwagons. Oh, I love Tom Brady. Yeah, I respect Brady. How the fuck? You know why? Because he, he lost, cost me a lot of money. And that's a, the position I played, and that's a badass motherfucker nobody will ever top. It, not in our lifetimes. I promise you that. And LeBron James will never be Kobe Bryant. you got to be Kobe Bryant before you can be Michael Jordan, LeBron James, his own person. 
People look at him. I mean, come on. Jordan's his own. Jaws his own. Donovan Mitchell will lead Cleveland again to another Cavaliers championship. Mark my words. That boy is unreal. 77 points. Get the fuck out of here. Just play that four, five, baby. Number 45. Pay attention to him. Out of Louisville. See? And how you feel with that, about them changing your Redskins name? That's some bullshit, right? Because they did us like that. Call, call us the Guardians now. It should have been the Washington Guardians, the Cleveland Commanders. The guard district of Cl makes no... I'm like, how fucking stupid. That should have been vice versa. Am I correct? If you want to be a guardian, you want to guardian our national capital. Washington Guardians. Yeah, I know we're changing it again, Tiff. We're going back to the motherfucking Indians, by God. The tribe. Just cost the tribe. But they, but they can run the Atlanta Braves. Steelers, you mean the Squillers? Are you fucking kidding me? Over Dallas and Green Bay? Oh, anybody likes that team, I know, is homosexual. Bottom line. Everyone. The best thing about Pennsylvania is I-79 South back to West Virginia, baby, to Morgantown. Ooh, Motown, where it gets down. The loudest city on Saturday. Steelers. Eat shit, pit, motherfucker. Eat shit, pit. Eat shit, pit. Eat shit, pit. I'll agree with Larry Bird. Eat shit, pit. Let's go, Philly Flyers. All day. Let fly, Eagles, fly. But eat shit, pit. Dilly, dilly. Billy, Billy, baby. But eat shit, pit. All day. All fucking day. That's the West Virginia Mountaineer backyard motherfucking brawl, boy. Anybody that from West Virginia, I can't. How can you like that team? Do you know that that's our backyard brawl, man? I'm sitting here watching the Cubs get their ass beat by the Reds right now. Reds are putting it down, baby. Eight to four. Bottom of the seventh. I got Larry Bird. Look at this Larry Bird figurine I got right here. Got his Indiana State card, everything in it. My buddy that owns the gun shop wants it. He just sold a Bo Jackson one. He's like, dude, I want that Larry Bird shit you got. You know what I mean? Fuck the Cubs. They cheated our Indians out of a motherfucking World Series. Just because they didn't want to call Cleveland title town. Because LeBron came back in that history moment. The first time ever. Cleveland was up three games to none. You cover the field when it starts raining. See what I'm saying? You covered the field. The ball can't roll. And you, Cleveland lost two World Series in Game 7s off the fucking tag runs off the third base. You should not be able to do that either. Or you should not be able to win the Super Bowl by a field goal. You should have to score. Be a fucking real man. Like Jim Brown did. Drug motherfuckers. All the way down the field. Then said, get off me. I just scored a touchdown. That's how he was. That's right, Michaela. You know that. Anybody wants to come in here on, on my sports, I will fucking school you backwards. From college, softball, baseball, whatever you want to know about, this motherfucker know. I didn't just play the game. You know the game, or you won't be nothing in that game. Bottom line. Same thing if you go deer hunting. You don't know how to fucking rattle horns. You don't know how to grunt. You probably ain't going to kill a deer unless you see it. Kind of common sense. I mean, fuck. Thirteen. I ain't your boy. I'm your daddy, boy. Bitch. I'm your daddy. You look up to me. Whose feed you watching right now? Am I watching you? You watching me? Think about that, boy. That brace, that bullshit, Rachel, boy. You didn't know that? Just like Biden. I get, you're a Biden. Mm -hmm. You're a weak link right now. You are the weakest link. Goodbye, in words of my sister. I'm watching. You're watching my feed, boy. Duncan, I'll dunk your ass in a mud hole in two seconds. Goodbye.
That's how much I put up with that dumb shit right there. Yeah, and your mama takes up for the family like I do, Michaela. I ain't going to let nobody sit here and talk about digging our graveyard up, killing our family, or fucking sitting there attacking someone's sobriety. Your mother's just like me. She'll fucking go right at him. We're just a different breed, man. I'm telling you. Cut from a different kind of cloth because we didn't fucking scatter and run. <laughs> My boy out there, he said, boom. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Good, that's right. Get ready to get off my property, which is shit. Motherfucker, where did my motherfucking clock? Shit. Motherfucker, please. I'm about to roll. I'm broken some shit with bread in my pocket. Oh, look how fast he's leaving now. Look how fast. Oh, you got scared real quick, didn't you, boy? Look at that, boy. You see that? Look on, Gus. Don't worry. Walk to the door and just open it. I just gotta let the dog go. Some uh, Stacy on his doom buggy, our cousin. He's, he's backing it up. Ah, uh, hit him. The ball hit him. He's out. That's, they're gone, Squeaks. They're gone. See if you know as soon as I open that door. Do you hear? Boom. Because they're here. That that was Kay. I, I know who that was. That was Annie's boy right there. That was my family. I know what he's doing. He's sitting there taking his shit off while we drive his buggy and shit. You know what I mean? He's taking a cooler, moving it. You're that fucking buggy boy. Mm-hmm. We ripped these mountains apart up in this motherfucker. I had my niece right there playing football. School motherfuckers at 10 years old. She didn't want to play. I said, you're going to play. Hand-eye coordination. And you asked her if that didn't help her through her own life. Quick as shit at picking the bullshit up. All that. It, it just... It just goes with life. The only thing that should be studied in school is physical education. If you can read a tape ruler, that's all the fuck you need in life. With math. That's a fact, man. That's why Pink Floyd said, We don't need no... And your thoughts and trolls and shit, you know what I mean? They teach you. Just leave them because they should fucking spit in lies. The gazes, your lines, these kids' face. Let me grab my lighter like my shit up. That's Stacy, I think, Buck. Put this bike in. Four off the truck. That was that orange buggy. He's the only one got the other one. They opened that motherfucker up, too, out there. I like that. He's got a Volkswagen in it, jet engine on it. What the, no, uh, what's his name? He's got the jet engine. He's got a damn, uh, that one's got a Porsche engine on his. There's some badass dune buggies up in this motherfucker. What was the school much better than Cleveland? You talking about down here? Wharton? The best school ever built? They closed down? They closed it down, Tiff. I won a championship room in grade school. Why do you think it's not what? No, no. But I'm talking about, never mind. You didn't catch the concept. In a Super Bowl, if it's a fucking overtime, you should not have to win off a field goal. You should have to actually put it in the end zone. Not kick a field goal. Field goal is a fucking pussy way of scoring. That's what. That's just my problem, you know. No, there ain't nobody worried about that dumb shit. Who's worried about lies, buddy? Why don't you go over and join it? Why don't you go join the three million club, motherfucker? And take three steps back and literally fuck your own face. I don't kiss nobody's ass. You, Donald's, Moses, Red, Red, none of you little bitches. You understand? It's never going to happen. None of my family will talk to me and say, oh, it's cool. No, it's not. 
You motherfuckers talking about burning my house down with my kids and shit. I, you're more than welcome. Come try. Who, like she said, who let the dog out? You don't even have to pick up a thing. Please. Please, boy. That makes me laugh, man. There's a new generation. That's right, that ain't my jacket. There's a possibility, because mine was stolen, but the, just a boy said here earlier, didn't even say a word to him. He said, Kedron had your jacket on last third. You and him was best friend. That's right. That's where the guns was bought. He said, the night that Brandon went crazy, that's the night it was... There you go. He knew every fucking detail to it because he was here the whole time. It, he, Brandon stole his girlfriend's car to go up and shoot him. Now, is that being told on the Mrs. Hoops? They won't go ask Brandon about the jacket, Tiff, because Brandon will tell them exactly what I'm telling them. That's the only thing I said about it. If it's mine, my sister or Wimpy would want you to make money off of it. Not you, Brandon Hoskins. I'm talking about Brandon Poe, my cousin. You know what I mean? That's not, he would tell you. We had the same jackets, man. You know what I mean? He took his a man of fucking soda. I know. I, he might have got that from Wimpy, but mine, I, I never sold it to nobody. He had him on the run for three days. He could have shot every one of them. I did tell Donald to sell it. Yes, sir, I did. I said, man, if you can make anything off of it, because I don't know where mine went, that's what he don't get. You know what I mean? I just, I'm not going to sit there and say for solid, sure, that's mine. You know what I mean? Because mine got fucking stolen. During a time that fucking I really don't want to talk about, I ran off to Minnesota. Right, right or wrong, Tiff? He had both of them, man. I'm, I'm telling you, ask Poe, man. But it don't matter. It's, it, it would still be my jacket. You see what I mean? If you break it down like that. And I did tell my cousin, I said, sell that motherfucker if you could make some money on it. Then everybody starts texting me. You see what I mean? Oh, he's selling like it was offensive. I told him to, man. If you can do it, get it, son. You know what I mean? And then I get all these inboxes blowing me up where, like a, it's an insult. You know what I mean? It's not insulting me. I let go of that years ago. You know what I mean? Because I can't put for sure if that one's mine or if it's not. When he started talking about the cracks in it, I was like, oh, now that, no. Mine never, you know what I mean, cracked up and shit like that. But over the years, sure. You know? But I am wearing the exact jacket like that when I'm fucking starting the car. Right. If it, 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 you know what I mean? It's either mine or his. It don't matter. It's still fucking one of the family members. That's what the point I was making. It, who the fuck cares? It's still one of ours. It's either mine or Brandon's. It don't matter. Brandon's in the movie, man. For longer than 15 seconds, man. I'm getting pissed. That's what I'm saying. And he's not down in the family. He's hoping that we forgive him. And we're not mad at him. And we wasn't. And he's talking directly to me. I know me and him. He was raised with me, man. I know. I can tell the stories. Raise your fucking head up. Are you sure if Brandon's talking to me, man? My cousin has been through hell. 17 years, 15, my brother did, you know what I mean, it's just, yeah, it's no man, Tiff, you know what I mean, of course, he's named after Papa, you know, talking feet, that's talking fucking lies, man, bottom line, I'm just saying, My cousin was at my house every day of my life growing up, man. I got a video from when I was six years old. We're all playing football together. And me and him always on the team together. It's my sixth birthday. My cousin Katie is like me. You talk about our dead, we will fucking freak out on you. You talk about our sobriety, we will freak out on you, man. 
That's not cool. I'm not sitting around letting that happen. I don't know why he's doing that. You know what I mean? I that's the part really you got to me. When they're sitting there talking about, well, I'll take a bulldozer to your family cemetery. Did I hear that correctly? Because I'll take a motherfucking to your, and you'll lay in that motherfucking hole you just made, won't you? Really? How you not know, Tiff? He's named after Papa, baby. What the hell? Donald Ray. He's named after his daddy and Papa. Donald Myers is his name. Because that's Marky's middle name. Right there. That's my cousin. There she is. There's Katie. The one that fucking like me. She will not take that shit. Ain't that right, cuz? Love the shirt, see? She she got in that wreck the night before the motherfucking the fights and shit. But uh, don't point that shit, man. You know what I mean? Know what you're talking about. Know what you're talking about. You know? Like I said, it's either one of ours. Why is the what's the issue with that? Thank you, Kate. See what I'm saying? Now if I took this shirt off. It was the day of the fight. Exactly. The night of the fights. Okay, my family is in a vicious car wreck, guys. You think I'm worried about a fucking fight? And they're fighting for their lives. But you see the breathing, don't you? Because it's strong. Motherfucking survive, boy, don't we? We didn't run away. Nothing, it's just I, I've been blowed up about that goddamn jacket. Little man, of course. Of course, Katie. <laughs> Over a fucking jacket, man. Because I sat there and said, sell the motherfucker, sure, Penny, or, you know what I mean? Tiff, you know I'm not lying. You, walk, you was raised right through it. You're, the, you're, you're part of this family. You are Penny's daughter, girl. I'm your fucking uncle. You know as well as I do. See, she's got a tube in her liver and everything, man. Fuck, man. She will not stand around and let somebody talk about our dead. And they're attacking my sobriety again, cuz. I mean, oh. Little man said he thought it was the funniest thing ever when that girl said she snorted a fucking uh, line of Roxy's off my certificate. I'll get my, my people. We're already praying for you, cuz. Trust me. This ain't the only channel I have. You know that. This is the channel the dumb fuckers know about. That's it. I got the church over here praying too. You know that. You know we done. I got Pink Floyd behind me. The one I'm wearing in the, the album cover. Yes, Annie and you both have a long road of recovery. Yes, you do, man. You know what I mean? I, I didn't know whether to, what to do. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't get no information, nothing. You, you know what I mean? All I could see was people throwing pictures up, and I was like, man, tell me how my family is. And then I finally heard it. You know what I mean? I was alert, and that was the best news I heard. You know? We just lost a friend, Katie. I'll message you and tell you. The jacket, right, the jacket, because it could have been stolen from me easily because my jacket was stolen, you know what I mean? And like I said, the last person I ever fucking seen where my jacket was catching, man, bottom line. Like I said, if you want me to make it official, Daniel, mail the motherfucker to me. I'll piss on it, will you? Wipe my ass on it. Autograph it. It'll be official on it. Now, if I took my shirt off right here, autographed it in its tag and sent it to one of my fans with its numbers in it. Now, wouldn't that be my shirt? I'm a little bit about authentication. You get what I'm saying? Just like a car collector or something would be. Know your shit. Or it could not be your the real shit. Man, there was two of them jackets. That's all I'm fucking trying to say. There's no authentication saying that's really mine. I'm sorry. There's not. 
because I wouldn't sell mine. Not that fucking dumb. My sister bought that for me. That I adored. That I lived with. Why would I sell it? Whatever. I say whatever you motherfuckers want to hear when I'm drove crazy about it. Yeah, sure. It's my motherfucking jacket. Write 500 na fake names in it if you want to also and sell it. I'll say, yeah, I wrote that name in there. I am tired of hearing about that shit. You know? How many siblings do we have? <laughs> have you seen the family tree, brother? Well, every one of us have a different side. I said, if I gave it, I said, I, I would have never sold it to Wimpy. I would have gave it to Wimpy. Is what I said. Never sold. Brandon sold it to Wimpy. Right there, a boy just said and said earlier. You know, sell it to Wimpy if I did. Like I said, my mind was so altered through them movies and shit. I don't know where the fuck that jacket went, buddy. And I don't care. And like I said, if it is, my sister would say sell it. If you can make some money and help yourself or your family, have at it, hoss. Yeah, see what Sean Fisher said? You think I'm worried about them mm -hmm. pants? Huh? That's from my other dead sister. That's how stupid these people are. They just want my shit that belonged to my dead family. And so they can say, oh, I got dirty shit and I'm wearing it. And, oh, he wants it back. No, if I wanted it back, my cousin would have sent it back to me. I'm pretty sure I got that messy stew, don't I? I'll send it back to you right now, cuz. No, you good. Because I don't know, man. I'm not going to wear something. I'm about all this occasion, like I said. I know this is a real pink boy shirt. Tagless. Motherfucking bought it from a head shop. I know it came from the motherfuckers that really make these. I'm not buying a bootleg coach purse, you feel me? Or a bootleg pair of Jordans. Because my breads are motherfucking real, baby. Is yours? That's what I'm talking about. I don't buy shit unless the authentication is there. Yeah, I will, me and Brandon wore both of them jackets, man. Twin jackets. But I can't tell you where mine really went. Honestly, I can't. You know? But I didn't sell it. I know it was stolen. I just don't get, I don't care. You know? When I got tired of hearing about, sure, I gave it to win, man. Whatever. You want to fucking hear. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you go to sleep tonight. I didn't, scanning, okay, who acts as a motherfucker for two to five dollars for their birthday, did I ever do that, has Jesco ever done that, has Mamie ever done that, has any of them ever done that, riddle me that, has anybody of us ever got on there and said, oh, I passed away, I'm dead, getting ready to make a go film me, and rob the hell out of some motherfuckers, wake up, you dumb fucks, I don't play games, I'll speak that you straight to your fucking face, man. Just like I'm doing right now. That's why you can't handle the fucking truth. Like the movie says, you can't handle the truth. If you want Denzel, Denzel will bring it to you. By God, can you act like Dirty? No. Because you, you just don't got it. I can do Denzel. I can do them all, baby. King Kong. Ain't, I mean, come on. Just like him. But, if y'all, have at it. Like I said, I'll send you another one. Right here. Now look at this. Let me pull this up. Now if I would send this to someone, or to my cousin, you see me holding it right fucking now. That was years ago. I don't know where the fuck that thing went, man. God's honest truth, I don't. I said, I'm so tired of hearing about it. Sure, I'll sold it to Winky. Whatever, why don't you both? See these? You think I give a fuck about one from 1955 that I don't even know if it's one my real dead sister's got? Pretty sure I would have asked for it back. Just like my friend sat there and said, he said you would have 
Thanks for sending that back. Yes, I would have. But I also offered autograph too. Yeah. You know how many people I play PlayStation with that's on here on this feed right now? You fucking idiot. I can't wait till my thing messenger unlocks so I can sit here and play on this other phone that Google Girl, the same kind of little game that everybody, everybody's wanting me to play with them. Just play along with me, man. But no, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not playing shit. This is life. This ain't a fucking PlayStation. If I want to play a PlayStation, I'd go in there and sell it, you know? I, I, I hope it sells $800 worth, man. If it can get him eight hundred dollars, I hope it gets him eight hundred. He's taking this shit the wrong way. Y'all don't get it, man. And I'm getting the backlash for it because I don't take no shit for any dime of money. Give a fuck how much. You can't pay this boy off. Mm -mm. Rats don't go to jail. Remember that. Yin and yang, motherfuckers. Can gun. Yeah, or a thousand's better. Keep selling them, man, if you can. You see what I mean? That's what I do. Keep selling the fucking things if you can keep building them up like that on YouTube and shit. I went on there and brought him on my YouTube to try to get him monetized, man. I guarantee he's over a thousand views now to be monetized. That's because of fucking me. Not no Moses Heath. Roses, blah, 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 this or that. Just like Draven Wright came here with 3,000 subscribers, 300 subscribers, left with 25. Ask the boy. Read his comments. I only know you because Durkey. But you can kill some music. Yes, he can. Jail talks real, boy. That's right. Rats don't motherfucking go to jail. No, I did not make Draven. Draven made himself. That's one of my friends that passed away. His baby brother. Rest in peace, Brendan. You know what I mean? And I would promote for him to the day I die. Just like he said. People say, I hate Durkee, all this. He came right in my fucking house, didn't he? Welcome right here. We took a four-wheeler ride together, and everybody showed the world how much we are at each other's neck. That much. But Draven hates Dirk and Dirk, he hates Draven and this and that. Remember all that? Buffalo Creek is a cover, guys. I've even made a cover to that song. You know what I mean? In Logan County, where coal is king. That was wrote in 1973, the year after the biggest disaster. Hell no, begging don't show up. He won't even come into my live feed now. Because he knows i got addresses. My family lives around him everything now. I'm just waiting for words. That's I would love to, Daniel. You know that? I would love to make another movie. But we're fighting, man. Over jackets and shit. How are we going to make a movie when we're doing that? That's the fucking riddle I just can't put together there. You know? I'd love to. I love the new generation, the new, just like it's it's supposed to be. West Virginia Mafia all day. No, it's called Mountain Mafia, baby. That's what we call it down here. I ain't worried about smashing beggings or fighting beggings or nothing like that. You know what I mean? We could get my family all on the same page, but a lot of them's gone, guys. We got, I mean, they passed away, things like that. But... It would show the world, you know what I mean? Hey, these guys are still going. The Tiger King, Joe, Joe Exotic, his fucking last one. That made us pop right back up. That fucking Tiger King shit. Everybody's like, COVID, we ain't got nothing to watch. Buddy, I was blowed up again. That's all begging is that. He got mad, I wouldn't work with him. Just like Tim Mack did. Brittany Goble. You want me? No. I'm gonna play her shit tomorrow. When that shit unlocks tomorrow, about two or three when that Alabama hooker. <laughs> but I ain't gonna call her for no way she's exotic you answer. She's like, I'm gonna show the screenshots between me and you. Look what I'm telling you. In them screenshots. Bitch, 
I would wash your panties on my abs is what I'm telling you. The moment you tell me you're a stripper, you're degrading me. You know what I mean? I never spoke another word to you. Show that to the world. You got that pimp up. Always. Yeah, he. I heard uh, he started attacking this other little boy after I, when I sat back and took recovery and shit. I heard he started attacking this other little boy. And that's true. He did. Beggins did. Beggins. He's going to be begging one day. You know what he's going to be begging for, don't you? Let's let uh, Ziggy tell us a little again. How about that? I'm not on here to hate. I'm just on. I don't take no shit, guys. And the true people see that, man. And I appreciate that about them. Because they private message me and let me know. So you can take my live here, but if I go YouTube and do it, you can't touch it. Why do you think I give them their little shit? You like the shirt? You ought to know. You bought it? Get them, Jiggy. Right after I said it. Tell them, baby. There's a new generation in this world. And all that's still Billy. Here, Billy took on pills. New generation. But they didn't leave the goddamn Holocaust. They beat that shit. Now they use the money for it. You hear that? Almost heaven. In Boone County, West Virginia. Outlaw Nation, baby. Almost heaven. He done moved on in. Because I left the front door in. I remember. It's about to. All through these mountains. Tomorrow, we're about to party those motherfuckers. Dude, I don't, I take random piss tests. Well, here's my baby. What? Well, and stories of Jefferson, Route 17. Of that old boy, Darcy went crazy. And then they found all them damn bodies. Fuck with me. God, I need you, hey, you're a paddock. That's right over here. Too bad I mean people like this. Who the fuck do they know? Huh. <laughs> Almost heaven. By God, Boone County, West Virginia. You seen the card, didn't you? How many more of you motherfuckers want to talk about that? Hmm? Don't worry, I want me to hold my breath or wait. It's about to break loose. All through the mountain. And I take that jig and point it right between your eyes and make your motherfucking life in. <laughs> you don't want me to write it, boy. Oh, yes, get it, Ziggy. Ziggy Pockets told them motherfuckers to write this. Yes, he loves West Virginia. Like Steve Harvey said, West Virginia's sexy, baby. You ever seen a coal miner before? The black stuff and the beard come out? Who do I see now? I'm about to throw that up there, too. She said, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, I'm from Welsh, West Virginia. Bitch, my daddy was a coal miner. You know what I mean? Put your lights on. Every time you go, homos want to beat off to a porno. Don't the coal miners. We're still putting your lights on. Thank you. You're very welcome. Because I... Just had someone come visit me this weekend. And I showed him. I said, look, you see all them piles of coal coming out of that belt right there? I said, that's men under there. That's not no machine putting that on there. That's men. She said, that big? You goddamn right, that big. That's what she, that's a different three. She was like, dang. You know, I asked her, I said, look, do you think that Deadliest catch is harder than what a coal miner does. And had her, had a coal miner just said a couple stories to her. She's like, fuck no. Exactly. Fuck no. You are working in an atomic bomb. 
know what I mean? No, the party. This is funny. When Pawnee gets on there and says he's a coal miner. Well, that motherfucker ain't. You got to have a certificate card that you can throw out like I can, first of all. Take an 80 hour fucking training class and a first aid training class before you can walk ever in a coal mine, motherfucker. And you got to be hazard trained. Know your shit. I have not, my Lance, quit being. That's just stupid, bro. No, I've not. No. The coal that's come out of this holler, the streets should be paved in gold, motherfucker. I'll tell you that, though. You don't. That's the shit I don't like right there. You're making a mockery of what. Who, the people are putting your lights on, man. My friends are under there right now doing it for you. 28 of them blowed up at once. But that's funny to you, right? Cool, buddy. You, you, you're cool, man. You're one of a kind. You are definitely a different breed. You know why? There's going to be a special place in hell for a lot of you. Just remember that. Say all the hell marys you want, motherfucker. Because when you stand in front of him on that last day, we're all going to hear all your sins, boy. Everything you did. Everything you've done. Your ass ain't getting raptured nowhere. Your ass is getting captured, motherfucker. Raptured ass. You, you, you some cracked up captured ass, motherfucker. That's what's going to happen to you. That is exactly what's going to happen to this guy. All right, use all the solar panels you want there, Joe Biden. Go green, Joe Manchin. Go, go, go ahead. Hit it. Go green, buddy. Boy, we can live off the world. We can plug our cars in. We're going to eat fucking canned food for the rest of our life. What the fuck are we? We're carnivals, you fucking idiot. Know what you are. <laughs> this dude, Don Rennell, is say some shit like that. Know what you are, dude. Yeah, you going green, ain't you? The only green I go? Right here, boy. I was. I got my coal mining cards and fucking every, I got everything in my coal mining. Right there is carbide lights. You know what I mean? You know what those are? Those lights that run from fucking carbide soot that had flames on them. You know how much them were? A dude walked in and said, I'll give you a thousand. No, you won't. No, the fuck you will not. That's when they held fucking birds in a cage in front of them. If the bird died during black dance, you better move the fuck back real quick. Now we have machines to test for that, don't we? You have to be certified. You have to have 80 hour training. I have my proof. My proof's in the pudding, baby. You know? Half dead motherfuckers. That's why my buddy wants me at the funny bone. He's like, I watch your feed, dog. He's like, my rib cage fucking touch me. He's like, I hire these motherfuckers a thousand dollars a night. And I sit here and just shake my head. Not, I'm taking him up on that offer. I'm going to go over and roast them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You just give what they, you work off of what they give you, brother. You know? If you see it, but if, if it's funny, the way you see it, you speak it. Because that is the way I see it. It's, it, it, it's, feet. it's funny. Yes, there was. That was my best friend's daddy. There sure is. And that's my stepdad right beside me at the second interview. That's in my yard. But that's why they asked me about that. There's like, how is it in the coal mines, you know what I mean? There's, you don't know, you know what I mean? When you step in, it could be the last time. And everybody asks us if you think about that. Fuck no. You're thinking about what you're getting done. And it's the most peaceful place in the fucking planet because you're stepping where no other man has ever stepped. You're basically fucking a Neil Armstrong, but a real one, not no fucking Fugazi. One small step, one giant leap for mankind, one motherfucking, the only thing I've ever seen that I really believe. Uh, my own eyes, because I've stepped there where no other man has stepped. Because we cut it and stepped there. See what I mean? Fossils that'll knock your eyes out. You know what I mean? You ever let, had to lay on your side to take a piss, buddy? You know, low coal from high coal. You know, mud coal from... Got you. I mean, there's so much you got to know, man. You don't take a fucking 80-hour training class and then a 100-hour test. 100-question test for nothing. No, I don't want to be logged into that fucking shit. Oh, look. 
against community standards. Well, I think that's against God's standards, in my opinion. You know, I think that's against God's standards, taking your clothes off for money. I don't think he's going to look kindly down on that when, you know, he gets, I'm pretty, ma ma Mother Magdalene was the whore. Do y'all know that? That sat beside him at the Last Supper. No little fucking shit. Before you come at me, the first woman to ever exist was Lilith, the succubus, the queen of hell. That's what she is now, Lilith, the first Eve. She's a satanic evil. She had her own baby, sucked his blood. She's a lesbian. Read the first, the Old Testament, you know what I mean? Fuck wind mills. We'll blow them motherfuckers down. No, it's not all completely windmill power. No, that's, no. Out in Indiana and shit, there's windmills running from Obama's bullshit. There's some here in West Virginia. But no, we're running off of fossil fuel still, brother. Trust me, there, this planet cannot exist for another 10 to 20 years. There's 7 billion people on the planet. There's not enough resources for a million. That's scientific facts, and I don't get, I don't, what goes up does come down. What's left is right, unless you're taught different from birth. If you're taught right is less. And opposite, that's all you'll ever know. Science does not lie. 10 to 20 years this fucking planet has. We still have 20 years of coal right here. No power. 70% of coal power plants in the United... There you go, Jamie. My brother. Because we put it down. You know what I mean? We put it down. Just like I was talking to a guy earlier, Randy Green. He said, I got a quarter of a loan, Dirty. Told my mom how fucking way. He said... We're just cut different, ain't we? We're just strong motherfuckers. you damn right, buddy. We are. Look what we go through. And we hit it head on every day. I'm, I've been waiting for it ready to blow up too, brother. Power plant inspector right there. My half-brother, basically. Right or wrong, ain't you, Jamie? His sister's my sister. Hmm. But you don't see us fighting with each other, talking shit to each other, do you? That's because it comes from a different side. He's a grippus, you know what I mean? On the castle side, it links through all that. That's what I try to say. Everybody comes from a different side, no matter what. That's right, brother. A lot of people don't know that. Pretty sure somebody tries to fuck with me. I got two brothers that will fucking lay you out man but I don't need that never did because they taught me very well growing up and the struggle was fucking real ask our cousin Lo, Gary White he'll come right in here and tell you boy I've never been no place like we was in that supermax remember that dirt yeah how can I forget cuz how can you Never forget that shit. There's no way. It's image. I still dream about it. Oh, I, you know it, brother. And I got yours. That brother of mine right there is a fucking Marine. He served for this country. And he feels the same way I do about this country. They just want to send us over there for their fucking money and their drugs, their poppy seeds, and their fucking oil. My our roots reach back to Germany, that's right. But Scandinavia mostly. That's the first motherfuckers to walk the Vikings. We some hating ass people. No, we just don't take no shit. We don't start it, we finish it. And people are are fucking weak, bro. They're weak minded. They can't even, even let word they let words get to them. You feel me? Mm -mm. You, no. Come on now. 
grow up, guys. You gotta get a little bit better than that. I mean, we're growing adults here. Last time I checked. And we're fighting over a damn t-shirt. Excuse me, a jacket. You see what I mean? Don't even care, really. No matter what we fight over, we will have each other's fucking back. It's, it's just how it is, man. What? And that's what people don't understand. They want to get on here and try to turn us against each other. That's exactly what me and my other cousin has preached to the family. They just want y'all to fight because they get over it and they love getting us aroused because they love seeing that wild side of us. They seen the movie. Wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Not Ohio. Not fucking Cleveland. Not Minnesota. Not Minneapolis. West Virginia. Not Tennessee. West Virginia. Wild and That's why the fucking sign says what it says. Wild and wonderful. West, welcome to Wild and Wonderful West Virginia. Almost fucking heaven, baby. But you're living through hell. That's a fact. Most beautiful place you'll see. I'm telling you, especially in the autumn. That's exact, Stephen. There you go. That's why I create the drama, son. Look at my shit. See what I'm saying? You think this shit ain't monetized? You ought to know. You paid for it. Feel me? He played your boy, Dark Knight. It's a nice suit. You ought to know. You paid for it. Fucking hand. What do you do? Your balls drop off? You're not getting the fucking... It's all a head game, people. Just like he's telling them. Right there. And shit he does. That motherfucker killed his role. And then you got Mr. Leto come in. You know what I mean? <laughs> the turkey stop. Desert Eagle, motherfucker, you fuck with me. I don't need no knife. I'll use anything I get my hands on. You know what I mean? You fuck with something I love. I'm coming for it. You want to know how I got these scars? You want to see a magic trick? See a pencil? It disappears. I told you. That fucking shit right there, I'm like, yeah. Now that's on point right there when he says that. And I love how he manipulates that cop to him. You want to know what all your buddies had to say in their eyes? He's drawing him right to him. It's like, it's like it's right here. Boy, it's making people want to punch me sometimes when I say shit through here. But all I'm going just is a... You want to know how he says that? What all your buddies had to say through their eyes when I killed them? Boy, he draws him right to it. That's all it takes. Like he just said, drama. Why so serious? You know why he's saying that? He's not saying, why, why are you being so serious? There's a flip side to that coin. If you watch it, the Riddler, man, is the one that you, you gotta break down. He fucks it up. That's where Lado's style come from. Was that green look. Was the Riddler. You know, you had Poison Ivy, all that shit. But Dark Knight Rising, all that came different. Then you had Mr. Fucking... Who? Tom Hardy. Playing Bane. The baddest fucking actor probably out. Him and Ryan Reynolds, in my book, are smashing the women around the world, son, if they wanted to. Tom Hardy, Ryan Reynolds, Robert Downey Jr. Damn, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah! <laughs> I'm the dude. This guy's a dude playing another fucking dude. I love that shit. Yeah, got some crawfish in the patty, y'all. That crowd, you yummy. Get your jelly ass chicken chopped up to the chopper. He said, up, elevator, up, up. I mean, Robert Downey, I mean, come on, man. He, you can't even tell that is Robert Downey Jr. You're thinking that's some fucking black actor playing that part. I own Lawless. I own fucking Mad Max Fury Road. Just what, legend. You want me to keep going, guys? 
Legend, he fucking killed. Y'all forgetting about Legend and Mad Max Fury Road. Charlize is in that bitch. That's my bitch. Juan King Phoenix walked the line, baby. I keep asking her what she keeps telling me no. He said, I wish you would refrain the playing music. Love it. Love Walter Goggins. The Hateful Eight is the baddest fucking movies came out in the past decade. Hands down. Kurt Russell. Walter Goggins. I mean, I can just roll with this cast. Dahmer goo. You know, he said, they broke my jaw. He said, I'm going to sit on that stump and watch that stomp your motherfucking guts out. Boy, yeah, Kurt Russell got that fucking revolver, motherfucking lever. Oh, my, I want one so bad. Rossi makes him. But that's the original Colt back then. Right or wrong, Jamie. Jamie's like, Dark no, he's fucking gun now, boy. My favorite movie is Casino 2. Walter is great. He said, I fucking knew it. I knew it was you, Joe fucking Gage, or whatever the fuck your name is. I love Walter Goggins. Have you seen him in the Righteous Gemstones, baby Billy? Yes. Yes. He says, oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh, it's a, it's a porta potty baby. <laughs> Dude, I fucking watched the porta potty baby scene of fucking Righteous Gemstones. You will roll your guts out. You know what I mean? This girl's from West Virginia. He gets some shit and brings her a redhead chick. And she's born in a commode right around. Yeah, Tarantino. Come on, man. Scorsese. Tarantino. They need to link up before Scorsese die, man. You know what I mean? That would be badass. You know, you know you're shot, brother. You know what's up, man. Nah, it's even better to say shot. You see what I mean? To me, you know what I mean? I catch it like that because it's what we're talking about. That's why they take motherfuckers like us, Jamie. Well, well they ask you to be a scout sniper, right or wrong, the first thing. Vice principals, I was getting ready to say, have anyone, uh, anyone seen vice principals? But him and Danny McBride feed off each other very well. You know, that's it. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't care what he did with Michael Jackson or whatever, Scorsese, the baddest motherfucking director ever. Good fella, son. You're sitting there saying you love Casino. It's your favorite movie. It's mine, too. Joey Pesci, you know what I mean? He said, he just stabbed this motherfucker over, over a pen. I don't even know why. He just went, just went on. You know? Then we get into Blow, Johnny Depp. Boy, did he play a fucking role in George Young. That is a fucking best documentary. I done said Goodfellas. That's the first one I said. Goodfellas I don't like because Roy Oda fucking rats him out, man. Fucking snitch. The depart there we go. I can see if anybody got it. The Departed, boys. Look at that mm -hmm. fucking plot with Jack Nicholson in. You ever fucking cheating rat. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love that shit. He said, I smell a fucking rat. He said, you fucking smell that? He said, you smell a fucking rat. He said, there's a difference between a... Listen to Morgan Freeman say, there's a difference between a snitch and a fucking rat. Now, a snitch will snitch you out just to get out of something, this and that, just that. The way Morgan Freeman breaks that down, he says, now, a rat, that motherfucker shit on their family. Eat their own shit. I mean, it's part on with that shit. There is a difference, motherfuckers. I promise you, you're snitching to the police, but when you're ratting, you're just a low down dirty motherfucker. Once upon a time in Hollywood. That's then you got The Irishman. My son loves these movies. That's what, you know, this generation, this generation X, or whatever it is in this movie, boys, if they ain't the ones going to save the world, we're fucked. I'll tell you that right now. Remember Battle of Los Angeles? That shit happened, man. People 
just want to turn a blind eye to that shit. You can't turn a blind eye to some shooting 1,400 rounds from our military, the biggest weapons we ever fucking own, and something like goddamn poultry guys come up out of the ocean and motherfucker just defend itself like it. The only, the only thing that fell to the ground was the, our bullets hitting this fucking horse field. And that was in 1941. Keep looking to the sky. Just not like, what, two or three years ago, something come out of the Hudson. Robert De Niro owns the Wild and Wonderful Whites. My movie's Heat. I was going to see if anybody would say it. That's my favorite movie than Casino. Heat is the fucking shit. He said, I had to roll on him, man. I had to roll. He said, I had to get down. He said, motherfucker, I told you don't kill nobody. We, we're going to rob him. But when you kill a fucking cop, they will not stop. And he's right. War Dogs, that's a good ass movie. Shit, let's go back to motherfucking Robert Redford. I mean, I mean what's his name? It made goddamn mm -hmm. the one old girl puts it. Oh my god, my brother knew the perfect uh, planet and terror and shit. When she puts a fucking leg on a girl uh, and blows people away and shit, man. Yeah, he is. De Niro owns the Wild Wonderful Whites. Y'all didn't know that? Uh, the lockup's awesome because he shows you get yourself in segregation and you can time them just like he's saying I swear in these little gels and shit he's right man I could I'd look I was like I could oh my god me and my brother was doing time together he, he said it two times and two boys they tried it twice you know what I mean they couldn't do it me and him could have walked right out of it walked right out of that fucking place and it's super maxed there's always a loophole. I don't give a fuck. Always. Hey, timing. You just gotta, it's all about timing when it comes to something like that, man. I swear it is. Timing, and you better be lucky as a motherfucker. Law Abiding Citizen. There we go. That's a fucking kick ass movie. Bitch, he's talking about that cell phone. Boom! Yeah, I thought you just uh, turn that cell phone off in court. I'm a judge. I can do what I want. See you, bitch. You can do what you want, huh? No, you can't. Nobody can. He's taking out every motherfucker that would not stand up for his fucking justice when his wife and kid was murdered. I love that shit. I am a law-abiding citizen. That's how I feel. Just like him, Corey. I am a gun owner, law, I'm a voter, I vote every fucking year, all the way, all the way down to the midterms, bro, everything, I'm the only active family member does that, you know that, right, I'm not saying nothing different, but I'm the only voter, you know what I mean, registered, registered gun owner, all that, I mean, I do that for a reason, man, See what I mean? I'm a law-abiding fucking citizen. So when you come in there talking to me, I'm gonna fucking, do, you know what I mean? I, I paid my dues. And in the end, you'll do yours too. Because if you don't, on this fucking, in, in this life, I promise you, you're going to fucking battle and fucking pay. We all going to. I love them Adaro string uh, picks too. I'm gonna me some Adaro picks because it's what kind of strings I use mostly. Mississippi Burn C. What the fuck you mean? What's up with the scam stuff, homie? Nah, it's not about trying me, bro. I just stand my ground. I live in a place that has the castle law and the stand your ground law. A lot of people don't even understand what they mean, you know. That if your life is threatened by anybody, you have the right to take theirs. If they have the fucking, I, I love them. He's D dash. You seen what kind of pics I had? Da Daro. You know it is. I got about 10 of them, man. I'll send you something if you want something. 
Okay. That's what I got on my strings. You got the XS's, the new ones. That's what I use. The Adaro, the the the, the D silent, silent Adaro. You know what I mean? I use ten usually, about a ten. You know what I mean? Ten gauge. If I bend them more, I'll go more nine. You know, shit like that. Yeah, I'll send you something, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll send something back for it, you know what I mean? You know what's up? These are the Adaro strings uh, picks. Uh, my cousin from Minnesota brought them to me. 1154s, 1012s, it's just what I use usually, you know what I mean? Just depends on what guitar I'm using. If I'm playing my washburn, my Fender, my Strat, my, my Taylor, it just depends. All my pick. 70 mil usually a 68 millimeter or to a 70. This is a 70. Not much. What are you into, Dean? How are you doing tonight, Audrey? I'm on here just hating on everybody like a motherfucker now, ain't I? I've ne like I say, I've never said a word about none of you people. Unless fucking somebody says something derogatory towards me. That's a fact. There was any fucking beat I've ever done. I believe I had that conversation too with somebody yesterday. Because when I lost my friend, you know, I, I couldn't sleep, man. I just really, I'm like, really again, you know, guys, get the fuck off that shit. If you're on that shit, please get the fuck off that shit. Because just like me, my buddy said, you can want a little tiny thin line or something. Take you away from your family, your babies. Your, you know what I mean? I just, no fucking way. Not me. No. That's not the same shit we used to fuck with when we was kids, guys. Nah. Y'all fucking with a whole new devil, man. Y'all fucking with a whole new game. Uh, nah. Nah. It's either 216 or another area code. I, I don't want to give that area code out right now. Man, moving back to the 216. Yeah, sure, it's cool. All that shit and shit, but I can't look at my sister's house and shit. You understand? I can't even... If I drive by there, you know, it, it's just not the same. You know what I mean? That place is 440-330. You know what I mean? 216-961. All those, you're looking at Brunswick, Lorraine County. You're throwing the, their area codes right now. I got you, my brother. Hit the bill, baby. 12 here, West 52nd, Clark. It goes Lorraine, Clark, Store, Denison. Then Dell. You want me to keep going? Then you go out. Not towards Berea. I mean, the airport, all that. Then you got Brunswick where my son is. My son's in Brunswick right now. Be here in a few days. Junior. Oh boy. He's a certified H back all that. He just got his license. Cuyahoga Falls is uh, an area code of 330. He just said, you know where Cuyahoga Falls is. Absolutely. On my way in from West Virginia, Cuyahoga Falls, you hit a right. If you're on your way out, you know what I mean? To 77, you can hit Cuyahoga Falls on the left. I'm not sure what the fucking X is called, but it says it right there. I hit it a couple of times, went that way, and hit PA. Right or wrong, brother. Right down the Pennsylvania Turnpike. You can jump on and hit Morgantown, West Virginia. Used to do it all the time. Because I lived in Morgantown at the time. Yes, sir, I know where I know where the falls are. You know what I mean? Y'all's got the, uh, what is it, the penguins or something? Y'all's call or something? Ojo is like... You know what I mean? The people are fucking rude, man. But the people that are born and raised there aren't. The people that move there are, think they're obligated or something or something. You know what I mean? It's just, I, I'm like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? Like he's saying, David, well, oh, how, yeah, it sucks, kind of, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I was like, maybe back to the 216. I have plans of moving, yes. You know what I mean? But I love... West Virginia, man. You see what I mean? That's it's beautiful. 
Yes, we called the Browns. I mean, I know, bro. We had. <laughs> don't tell me nothing. I don't know. You know what I mean? Trust me. Mistake by the leg. The fucking. I've seen it all. I'm a Browns fan. I'm an Indians fan. I don't like the Cavaliers. I like the Rockets. That's how I am. That's how I, like. That's how I was raised. You know. I cheered for Jordan throughout the playoffs. No mountains, right? Like he's saying, man. Exactly. All buildings, concrete jungle is what I call it. No offense to anyone. I just call it concrete jungle, man. You know, a concrete mountain, concrete. I, I live in the heart of Appalachia, and to compare that to this, there's no comparison to that. You know. Yeah, that Christmas story. That's in Cleveland. That's right. Yep, that's right. An old bull boy shoots his eye and shit. That's all right there, bro. I've been up all by it. I was, my weed dealer lived beside Castro. That's why I said that's all a hoax. My little, my, my baby mama went to school with that night girl and shit. No, 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 no. You bitches want no Stockholm Syndrome. Y'all fucking played it off. Mm -mm. Nope. What part of West Virginia? Rockets, Houston Rockets. Akeem Olajuwon was my favorite player growing up and stuff. I've always been a Rockets fan. What the fuck, my phone's going to be? My other one is. I just use this one for music and shit. Uh, yeah. There's work in West Virginia, yeah. Yeah, everywhere right now, actually. That's all they're fucking. We need 133,000 correctional officers. We need fucking, I mean, there's so much shit on there. We need something real, man. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Look at that. My, hear my phone blowing up from my cousin and shit? I didn't, I, he blocked me. I didn't block him. Think about that. I don't go play you pulling the trigger. Now, I didn't take no offense to what was going on right there. I just, it's just, as y'all just understand, I really, you know what I mean? Don't know, man. But if I sold it, I gave it to my cousin. I wouldn't fucking sell it to him. That's the first and foremost thing I said. And all, everything's always took out of context with us, you know what I mean? That album is fucking already down recorded. It's just all about right now the fucking. With this drama right now, I, 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 I gotta get some videos and shit up, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them up without the music videos. You know? I gotta get the fucking people to play them parts. But I got the people to play them parts already. You know? It's just getting the motherfuckers together. That's the hardest part of this shit. That's who I'm talking about, man. It's the kidnapped girls in Cleveland. You're talking about Michelle Knight and all of them, man. Are you serious? I just said that. I walk by the fucking house every day. Ain't no bitch hollering at me. Help, help, help. It means motherfucker work every day. Get out of here. That shit motherfucker was paid off. I bought a quarter pound of weed off a motherfucker every day. And that motherfucker, you know what I mean? I never once had an indication there was three girls inside the cash drugs house. Okay, I'll tell you what the street it was, address, everything. No way, no way, mm -hmm. no way. Michelle and I went to school. She wanted to do an interview with me, right? And when I told her the part that I would not leave out, I never heard from her again. She went to school with my baby mom, guys. This shit is a lie, man. I swear it is. That was a lie, man. Them bitches are fucking willing, son. There ain't no bitch having babies and floors and you, you don't get the fuck out of here, son. No. No. There was one girl they kept, kept, kept it upstairs, man. They kept that bitch kept upstairs and she was the youngest one that they had got because them girls was bought in that shit helping him, man. That one definitely was. He was. The, every one of them pointed at her that she helped him and shit. The one had the baby. I don't know, man. I don't care. I'll call all you bitches out. I'll call every one of you bitches out. I know I'm telling the fucking truth. By God. I know.
my fucking baby mama went to school with that night, girl. I know, man. In the moment, I said, I can't leave this part out of it. I said, I want you to answer that to the world because the whole world wants to know that. Bam. Never heard from her again. Lived in Cleveland 12 years, guys. You know what I mean? She knew I fucking knew. She man, come on. No way. How many of our, her friends walked right by that house? The weed deal way to the next door, man. That motherfucker be out there barbecuing and shit. Just like they said. Just living a normal life. Because them bitches was... No, no. No, if I would have said... Fucking front door would have been down the first day. Get the fuck out of here. I would have cut that motherfucker up and sleep and shit. I would have dommered his ass. Dommer lived in Bath, Ohio. That's about 10 minutes out of Cleveland. Fucking freaks up there, man. My aunt was killed and shot in Cleveland. And shit. They some fucking freaks up in that bitch. I swear, man. You don't want to fuck around in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. That's where they call it the fucking that Lake Erie. You know what I mean? They call it Edgewater for a reason. You hints what I said? Edgewater. There's so many fucking bodies being dumped right there. It's unreal, probably. And they call it the flats. That's right down in there. You know what I mean? You don't want to go down there fucking around. I think it's, uh, me too. I think it's that Canadian shit blowing down here. <laughs> 90 miles across the lake, straight across the lake. Man, I swam in that lake every time, man. And you you can feel the bacteria on you. You got to instantly jump. I go instantly get to one of the showers. You know what I mean? I always would take some. I was like, ooh. You know what I mean? I caught some nice fish out of that bitch, though. And then you got Rocky River that runs into the lake. Now that, you, I catch salmon out of that motherfucker, man. Yeah. In Ohio, I was like, what the fuck? This motherfucker's the biggest trout i ever seen in my life. My uncle's got it reeling it in, you know what I mean? I said, that's a rainbow trout, man. <laughs> he pulls it out of water and this motherfucker's just big. <laughs> With like teeth and shit. I was like, oh man, this is a salmon, man. I was like, they call it an orange salmon or some shit. I was like, that thing was crazy. Man, the shit that I've seen in West Virginia in the past couple years. There's been some weird shit. No, I, I, I know. You know what I mean? He probably ain't around no more. He, there you, he ain't around no more. Lost and never found, but up in that bitch. I'm telling you, man. My boys was on the first 48 hours. Everything was my niece was here that was in here earlier. She'd tell you. I sat there and watched them talking about it and shit. I mean, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, three balls. What the fuck? Where did that even come from? God damn. I knew a guy in Cleveland had three nuts. I guess when he got off, he nutted three times. Now, nah, you got damn right, four bullets in his head. I, mm, my boy unloaded when he... Unload it. He un they unload the clip, dog. You know what I mean? And trust me, they overkill. That's the heartless felons, man. That's the heartless felons turf. You don't fuck around up in there. You know? This motherfucker said you got four balls. He's going to nut three times or some shit. Getty, nah, man. I've seen some badgers or some shit like that. These motherfuckers wasn't scared of an M4A1. That's a problem. They call them extraterrestrial. That's right, man. A Yeti or a Sasquatch. I think that too. That's what I think. If them motherfuckers exist, they extraterrestrial. What I think, call me crazy. I think the fucking Indians still live in these mountains. Oh, yeah. You should see the picture of the arrow's heads I just took off my buddy Randy Green's wall. Like Jack Webb's, uh, Jamie, on the. I told him, I said, dude, I'll I seen one and Rick offer to do $170,000 for not that good of a But you got to be an archaeologist to sell that shit, man. I, I got some nice ones, right? They better fucking be in that cup up there. 
I got out of the truck one day in my digging spot, Jamie, and it had been raining. I just looked down. I was like, motherfucker, no way. Picked it up. Perfect cut. Perfect cut head, man. You know what I mean? Shit like that don't add up to me, and what don't add up to me when I was molly moving around this year. I drove by this spot and jabbed. You know what I mean? It's on the left-hand side, at the bottom where we party. On the left, going up in there. I had, no, listen to this, man. No, I didn't, no, the results wouldn't, no. These motherfuckers. Jamie, have you ever seen your deer that you kill when you go back? You know what I mean? I shot the deer. My gun, so I went back to get it, right? That deer wasn't there. That deer was 22, 250 feet up the fucking mountain. But one bite took out of it. 10 inches deep, at least 6, 7 inches wide. And not drug. You know I would see if it was drug up the hill now, wouldn't I? I'm a deer hunter. Planet there. These motherfuckers was whoa, growling like that. Whoa. About 17 of them. That wasn't a fucking bear, dog. I shot one of them and got the hair. There ain't no black, white, and brown bear exists in West Virginia that look like this. These look like Wolverines, man. They're standing like this, homie. That's Tyler and fucking, these was fucking badgers. I know what I saw. And they weren't scared of shit. Bears are scared of weapons. They're scared of fucking fire. No way, Jamie. I had it, my M4 dog with my Glock and, and Tyler had a 30 6 and Joe had a motherfucking AK. They was not moving, son. Now that's a problem. Now what you think? That's what it was, a doe, you know what I mean? I took that doe, you know what I mean? It's a pistol shot, too. And it was, you know what I mean? No, dude, it was dead as fuck, dude. No, no, these was... I got their hair, I'll, I'll send you pictures of the hair and shit. You tell me if you've seen some shit like this. Then you'll agree, you know what I mean? And then up here on Cook Mountain, everybody has talked about this here recently. This thing just... It does this in the perfect design of a UFO. West Virginia is the most paranormal place. Go back and look at your history. Kana means white rocks or something like that. And Indian and Moundsville was buried on the Indian burial ground, people. Why do you think it's fucking so haunted? Do your history. You know what I mean? I went back and checked that shit. I know. These motherfuckers are probably still alive, man, because when I went by that spot, Jamie, it looked like there was a perfect door in it, man. My son will even tell you, blatantly, like they could slide it up and down. You know? I don't have Donald blocked. Never did. Telling him I can't accept messages of some girl motherfucking reported me because I called her out on being a hooker. I can just be... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to fucking talk out on it. You know what I mean? If you sensation, I was just telling the truth, you know? And now I can't be, uh, talk to nobody on it. Telling me I have to contact me on Instagram or my number or my cell phone number. Oh, mercy. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? But what I saw was just different, you know? We're the most paranormal place in the United States. And not only that, we're the most uh, haunted. I mean, extraterrestrial. Google that shit. I'm for real, man. Because I think it's all the Indian shit we're buried on with the paranormal. It's all, you know, because of how many Cherokee, Blackfoot, and all that shit lived in here. The actual, it takes it back to the Kawahawawa shit, some shit, I don't know, man. It's the real name shit, the first tribes ever live here. They created the fucking layout, everything. Not us. That's just facts, man. I think they're still alive, and when I went by that place, you asked my son, when we came back around it, it fucking 
landed right in with the rocks. So I couldn't find it nowhere. But it was wide the fuck open. Like they could slide it or something. You know what I mean? Had a way to, you know. I think the motherfuckers are still in these mountains, man. They're too smart. They're the smartest fucking people that exist. They didn't live on these lands for nothing for thousands of years, man. That's a fact. What's that Tom, that Tom, that fucking movie, Bone Tomahawk or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm telling you, man. There's Indians existed like that, too. They put tusks in their mouth and shit. That they, they're cannib carnival, you know, they fucking... Cannibal Elector, Hannibal, or whatever the fuck they called. They ate motherfuckers, son, like Apache. Apache would only eat people for intimidation. Facts. They intimidate the Vikings. That's the first to come here. Not no Columbus on the fucking Marietta, Pinta Maria, and fucking Mabel. Get the fuck out of here. The Vikings was here 200 years before that. You fucking nuts. Just like when the fucking Lynx and fucking... Egypt was there 200 years before the fucking pyramids was. They aged as that, you know what I mean? Well, if the pyramids is aged as this, and this is aged 200 years before, don't that fucking tell you something? And you take a square, like that one dude did, and fucking, that's what I'm saying, where the Indians come from. That, 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 you, don't, you don't question that right there. That's what you're supposed to not do. They, like in Hell on Wheels, he looks at him and he says, I want to buy your land. That Indian looks at him like, what do you mean buy? Well, you, they're trying to translate to him what buy means and he can't under comprehend. He ain't selling his fucking land. No, everybody's good, Melissa. I'm, I'm just sitting here talking about the type. People ask me all the time what I think about the mountains and stuff around here in West Virginia, where I hunt a lot and stuff, and I'm always in them. Uh, I see some shit, yeah. But, like that panther, that's not a panther. That's a black mountain lion genetically made like that over the years. They fucking, just like an albino deer. That is a black mountain lion, I see. I've seen him twice. You know what I mean? That is no fucking panther. I've seen mountain lions look like motherfucking beautiful lionesses. This is big. But they're scared of us, you know what I mean? They, as soon as they see us, they're gone. I've seen two of the brown ones and the black one twice. This, that's the same black one. I know it is. That motherfucker is beautiful, though. That's no panther, though. That is a, that's a fucking mountain lion. Just like, you know what I mean? Uh, what do you call it? You go up in Ohio in Lorraine County? The fucking deers look like cows. No, you don't. You have black mountain lions. Just like I said. Y'all people tripping. They cannot live in this environment. Science does not lie, girl. North Carolina does not have no goddamn panther. If anybody did it, we would. And that's a mountain lion. I promise you, it's no panther. But we do hear the screams of women and cries of babies. I've seen, okay, back here in number four was the first brown one I seen. Me and Scott, Scotty Sharp died just a few months, not, not even a year ago. Boy, would tell you, solid black right here. Them mountain lions, man. There's not fucking panthers. That panther would motherfucking let you know right real quick. It wouldn't, a panther is a predator. It is not scared of your ass. It will hunt your ass. <laughs> Just because they're called the Carolina Panthers, now they got panthers in Carolina. I've heard it fucking all now. I really have. The flatlands of North Carolina. Where oceans exist. I mean, I just. Okay, guys. Hunt the fucking hills of West Virginia for one day, then let me know about your little flatlands of Carolina. Okay? I can walk through cotton fields all goddamn day long and shoot fucking bucks and sticking their heads out of fucking cornfields and all, you know, and cotton fields. Walk this motherfucker. 
This is Appalachian, my brother. Come get some. Come and get it. That's what we always do. Come get it. It's hard to talk to. Put that shit in your mouth. Y'all have some. Right. The Blue Ridge Mountains. I know everything about North Carolina, my man. Boom, North Carolina, Appalachian State. Jackson, I'll, I'll walk you all the way through the state. That's where I, I got the most love for. I had the most love for that state because they gave us the review of the lifetime. When I came to North Carolina, we partied the fuck down. You see what I mean? We did it West Virginia and motherfucking North Carolina stuff. We did it together. You see what I mean? And that's why I respect him. Look at that. And I always will. I've always given that more North Carolina the fucking biggest props in the world. Thank you guys for the support. You motherfuckers show mad love to the white family. For real. And I, I, I walk to North Carolina. I can't walk to a motherfucking Walmart in North Carolina. Where motherfuckers say, I see dirty. No. I can walk to Tennessee. You racist motherfuckers. That white thing. Completely different. See? What Google says just tells. I, I, I believe they exist, man. They're, they could exist because of the cries of the woman. Or the screams of a baby. A mountain lion can't do that. See what I mean? They will scream like a woman. They will lure you to them. That's what they're doing. That's how they lure their prey. They're luring a motherfucking coyote to them, whatever. Man, they will do that loud as fucking I've heard in the mountains. Jamie, I'll tell you. You know, you'll hear, ah, and this big loud scream like some woman's dying. You're like, I'm getting the fuck up out of here, son. 30 hot sticks on your back, and all you're getting the fuck out of there. Boy, it sends chills down you. You think of fucking. We got elks. No. I'll know as soon as I hear one of them. Johnny and June's, I know. Was you there that night when I was there? See how, uh, if you was, all the other family left, what I do? Jump off the stage and got in the middle of the crowd until the bodyguard kicked the fuck back from me. These are my people, baby. That place was packed. I know it's been closed for years. That fucking sucks. That was the best place. One of the best times I ever had in my life. I think Johnny and June's. Remember the that hotel behind Johnny and June's? They closed that whole hotel down. Just let us have it. You was there? What did I do, bro? Everybody else, we went. they went to the VIP. Everybody thought we was leaving. My other family went out the back to the side. Right? What did I do? I walked straight out to you guys, and we got fucking down all night long. To, I, I didn't want it to close in. I took 20 to 30 people to the hotel. That boy right there, I tell you if he was there. Jesse was there. He did that tattoo on me and shit. Then the next night, I had to be ready to be at Bar Charlotte. Motherfucker, we ain't done yet. We're still going. You know what I mean? I just, uh, I gotta be at a radio station at 6.30 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh shit. I was drinking everything, man. They ran out of grenadine shit to mix my shit, remember? God, that's fucking stupid. For math, dude? What? Johnny Cash is. That bitch needs putting a mill in the institution. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that fucking right now, son. That bitch done wearing a fucking two dollar bill is worth motherfucking fifty million dollars. <laughs> That'd be like getting his guitar with the money feeling. You know what I mean? The dollar bill he get on it. As a sign, cash. I'm not broke. If I got a penny or a dollar, I'm not broke. <laughs> You know, my Johnny Cash shirt belongs to someone else now. You know, 
Was you guys there that night? Who who was that Johnny and Junes? If I was there. They auctioned my fucking shirt off, remember, for like four hundred dollars. Some woman bought it from a bike show. No, she, no, she owns a bike store. And she she hung it up so she smelled it every day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this bitch creepy, man. You know what I mean? You was there? No listen. You see me throw the pills to you guys? The whole bottle of Klonopin? I said, sweet home Carolina. What did I sing when I come out to you guys? You know what I mean? I put it the fuck down. I don't care. Everybody knows I did. I was wearing my red shirt. It said, hillbilly murder. And then I fucking walked around that bar shirtless all night because I sold that motherfucker. Well, no, at the end. I told her I'd give it to her at the end. This is right. I signed it for and shit. Mm -hmm. I remember all that. Because the VIP part had the chain around it. And not everybody was like, ah, oh, they're leaving. And I walked right through the chain. And the guards was like, no, no. I said, fuck no, man. I come here to party. My family's going to bed. I'm going to fucking party, baby. We're at Johnny and June's. This is a once like to me. This is Johnny Cash's fucking bar. Get the fuck back from me. You heard me tell him my fucking bodyguards. I said, you guys are welcome to come right by me, sit right here. People was freaking out. I was like, sit right here. Everybody come up to me. You want a shot of this? You want a shot of this? In 10 minutes, I was so fucked up. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing no more, guys. I remember eating hot dogs out on the platform with you guys, bullshitting, just telling jokes and shit. That's about what I remember from that night. And then I remember Maddie passing out across the bed. And everybody, you know what I mean, still partying. This one boy said, man, I brought you all these Xanaxes. Man, I looked at him, I said, man, he said, I stole them from my grandma. <laughs> I was like, take this. I dumped every one of them. There's fucking blood pressure pills and shit. I was like, I dumped every in the fucking commode and flushed him. He said, what are you doing? I said, dude, ain't one of them my fucking narcotics, son. I said, no, you're shit. He got mad and left. I'll never forget that shit. And then this dude and this girl walked in. There's like hippie chicks, man. This hippie chick. And she was like, you want to smoke some weed? I was like, the bear shit in the fucking woods if they ain't in the zoo. You know? Roll that motherfucker. Maddie's lay pass out across the bed. Uh, then I got to be on the radio station at 6 o'clock. This woman looked at me. She said, you want some ecstasy? Another question. Does it, that's fucking rhetorical. You're asking, you're talking to Darkie at this point. The Boone County mating call. They just don't give a fuck. We just got done making the movie, people. You know what I mean? And we're in North Carolina, and the fucking hotel shut down because of us. And they're, I mean, you can't, no, that's, I don't want to. I was rolling at six o'clock in the morning, drinking fucking coffee, popping E on the radio station, talking to fans, me, Mamie, and Kirk. You heard you heard the radio broadcast. I bet you you did for the next night at Johnny and June because the dude had to ask questions against me. I mean, at Bar Charlotte to get tickets to it. His asking his questions, lines from the movie. First line was, I keep asking her warden, but she keeps saying, no, let's fucking walk the line. We just lost left Johnny and June. I killed him. You know what I mean? But I gave the guy the tickets. He said, what do you want or you, to do with this? I said, get that motherfucker out. That's a fan, give them to him. And then they drove us into Charlotte. As soon as I got there at the hotel, this boy opens a briefcase. I ain't gonna say his name, that's my dude. Opens a briefcase, throws me two bags of shrooms, two bags of weed, any fucking pill I want right there. He said, I'm gonna drive you over to the bar and we'll show you the layout of our bar. So I walk in. This is where you'll be, blah, 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 all that. You know what I mean? I can't even get in the fucking bar to look at it for people screaming at us. That's why I give North Carolina a little love. You know what I mean? Because right over from it's the Panther Stadium and shit. But Whiskey River ain't closed, is it? I bet you're like, I bet they're like, what the fuck? How's he know that? 
I know my shit about Carolina. You think I don't keep up with it, my people? I didn't drive, I didn't have to do shit. They was already cars waiting to take us from here to there to there to there and shit, you know what I mean? I was like, what the fuck? Okay, cool. No, it was Bar Charlotte's where I fucking went to. I'm at Bar Charlotte, I promise you, bitch was dancing on a motherfucking mechanical bull. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, this bitch right here don't have to take her clothes off. You know what I mean? This bitch is, this bull was like moving. <laughs> I'm saying everything. <laughs> fucked up on that exit. And I just keep looking at her, man. Everybody's like, what are you doing? I was like, I've never seen some bitch, bitch dance on a bull like this, dog. I was like, but she bad as fuck. I was like, she probably got fucking eight carat diamond on her ring. Hand, you know what I mean? Uh, then there's another one she's swinging. These bitches were super talented, man. Now, that's a professional stripper, but she didn't take her clothes off. So I would call that a professional what? Fucking entertainer? Like that girl said? No. I still wouldn't call her that. She's just a bad bitch. If you can swing on a swing and dance, you got some fucking skill, man. And then the other one sitting there dancing on a mechanical bull. That's how that night was set up. I couldn't stop watching that to do my show. You know what I mean? I remember that. I was so fucked up watching it. You know what I mean? I was like, no way. I mean, I've seen bitches dance everywhere. I've seen them fucking dancing. Goddamn mud holes, hood of cars, fucking... Uh, you name it. Crack houses. You. <laughs> but I've never seen some shit like this. This is badass. I was like, every guy come in here is definitely asking that bitch to marry him. Because all all these girls, you know what I mean? That's a, what I mean about that only pants shit. These girls, all they had to do was cut fucking their pants a little bit and show a little bit of cleavage, and they was the baddest bitches in the world. Now, that's what you call, like Cat Williams says, when you know you're a bad bitch, you're a bad fucking bitch. And them bitches knew that. You know what I mean? That's exactly how I picked it up, you know? I was like, these bitches... Of course I'm going to tell the story, man. It don't make no sense if I'm just sitting there and say, oh, we partied at Johnny and June's. But these guys, remember, who come out there and partied with them all night long till they made me leave. Drunker and fucks. Yeah, oh yeah, drunker and fucks. Popping pill after pill. You ain't taking dirty out, motherfucker. I'm a soldier. Boone County outlawer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's going up the hill. Nope. Nope. That's my boys this Saturday night. They're partying up on the mountain. Of course. I might go up there.